Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you from my aquaponics greenhouse. I had this greenhouse in operation since almost October in some fashion, but uh, the one thing I didn't have that I really wanted and I just finally got here in the month of July of uh, the following year is tilapia. Pardon me, I'm trying to do stuff. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I got some tilapia now. I had to get big fish and I'm going to put water. You got to acclimate your fish to the water they're going in. My fish are going in this tank right here and this tank apparently has been getting some water from my grow beds which has some algae in it over here and I don't have that many fish in here so what I'm doing are plants yet because of my fish population just hasn't been high enough. I just put goldfish and brim in there and so I've got four buckets with five tilapia in each bucket. I'm adding water to acclimate them. Let's see how this goes. But be careful because they like to jump. So you always got to acclimate your fish to whatever the water to go in before you pour them in there or you give them too much of a thermal shock. Now some people might do this for 30 minutes or an hour, but there's probably not enough bucket oxygen left in these buckets. These fish have been in these buckets for almost an hour from where I drove from. So let's see what down here. This takes a few minutes to do. But basically I'm just trying to get all these fish acclimated. And then I will pour the fish into this tank here. A little bit more water over here. This one. So I'm gonna collapse this just saying hello, hello. And we've got thunderstorms brewing outside of the greenhouse. If you've been watching my videos lately, and doing us, we seem to be getting lots of thunderstorms these days. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum. All right. So. I just put those lids on there to keep these tilapia from jumping out because they are jumpers. Now we're going to feed my other fish here. So this is a bit of an experiment. I probably could have got more tilapia. Except uh, somebody had said and feared that if you mix tilapia where you had goldfish that you would have problems with uh, some disease so I'm trying I'm thinking it's like many of the other YouTube videos out there that people are making videos just to make videos you've heard me mention that so I'm trying to be real here and see what is that this tank has bluegill in it watch them popping bluegill love to jump when you feed them see them jumping in here yeah Happy eating now. Good thing about having different tanks here is I can put different fish in different tanks. These guys are already expecting to eat. Look at them, they're up there ready for it. Look at them. These are goldfish. Whoop, that's too much. But I bet they'll eat it. These are some hungry fish today. Oh yeah. They're going for it. Actually, they're eating that up in a hurry. I thought I poured too much in there, but they are dispatching it really fast. Normally feed twice a day. They didn't get fed this morning. So I cover the tanks up to discourage the growth of algae. The tanks are plain black for the same reason. Anyway, 
Well, I can't pour fish and film at the same time, so I will give these fish about 15 minutes in that water to acclimate and pour them in their new home. The third tank over here, so I'll have tilapia, brim, and goldfish. The three separate tanks, I could go through for fish. We'll see if the bacterial infection uh, stuff holds true for this case. So I will do a lot more videos in the future on aquaponics and of course many 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 other topics as you see from my channel. So please uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Bang the update notification bell and check my links below to support my channel. Uh, I sell worms. I sell them shipping year-round. Greengrace.com uh, You can find uh, pepper supplies at my patient supply and you can find seeds and all kind of good things to grow in your own garden and microgreens because I think you're going to have to grow indoors more. You can buy lettuce seeds for an operation like this. That's where I get mine. All my seeds come from True Leaf Market. Okay, so I'm going to put the last of my buckets. I got somebody in the video for me. The last of my buckets is about to go in. Take the lid off. I'll save that for last so the fish don't jump into my face. Once right now they're standing at the bottom, I'm going to pour a little bit of the water in the system. Just off the hand and get it over. Here's the bottom of the bucket. Now, I'm going to set this bucket down in here so they can get used to this water just a little bit first. This water still has some algae and plant matter in it. Just gets them a little more gentle uh, acclimation to it. Now, they don't want to go swimming out. They're ready to explore. Okay, they're ready for it. Them swim out. One of them is still back in the bucket. Here we go. There's a gentle introduction of the fish to the water. Now the, the fish are in here. I don't know if you can see them in here, but this water is a bit murky just because it's got. I've got a bit of an allergy issue here. I don't think you can see anything. The reflection's off the top of the water. The system's got a lot of algae in it right now. Even though I keep black tanks and keep it covered up, some of it's coming from the grow bed is a problem. So I gotta work on the, the grow bed a little bit. Greg Allison from Green Graves Garden and Worm Farm, Aquaponics Greenhouse. Hopefully we'll get this operation rocking now. Thank you for watching.